Hi everyone, I'm Shubham Jhawar. We are discussing J Advanced 2022 Paper 1. And the question for this video is this. Let P1 and P2 be two planes given by P1 10x plus 15y plus 12z minus 60 equal to 0. P2 minus 2x plus 5y plus 4z minus 20 equal to 0. Which of the following straight lines can be an edge of some tetrahedron whose two faces lie on P1 and P2? So here, let's say uh, this blue, uh, you know, uh, triangular face of tetrahedron is a uh, plane P1. And this green triangular face of this tetrahedron is uh, this plane uh, P2. And uh, this red dotted line is uh, an edge, a side which doesn't belong to uh, P1 or P2, which doesn't belong to any of these two planes P1 or P2. Now, if you see carefully, uh, how many edges are there? There are six edges, five of which belong to a plane P1 or P2 or both. Why both? Because, uh, you know, this particular side is the line of intersection of the two planes P1 and P2. So these three sides belong to P1, these three sides uh, or rather edges belong to P2 or lie on the plane P2 of which one side, one edge is common to both which is line of intersection of plane P1 and P2. So overall five edges out of six edges of the stratohedron lie on the plane P1 and or P2. And this one edge is there which doesn't lie on any of these two planes, rather it cuts both the planes but doesn't pass through the line of intersection yeah uh, and there are other uh, you know lines uh, like uh, this line uh, or let me just uh, yeah like uh, like this line or this line which lie on this plane p2 and they also cut the line of intersection of these two planes p1 and p2 and uh, there are uh, two such uh, sides or lines uh, you know like this and this which lie on the plane P1 and cut the line of uh, intersection of these two planes P1 and P2. And there is this uh, third uh, uh, or rather not third you may say the you know the remaining one edge which is neither there on plane P1 or P2. It cuts both the planes P1 and P2 but it doesn't pass through the line of intersection of these two planes P1 and P2. Having said that, let's first find the line of intersection of these two planes P1 and P2. Yeah. So let's say this line of intersection uh, has, uh, you know, a parallel vector m vector. Yeah. So you may say m vector would be what? It will be i cap, j cap, k cap, uh, which you need not even write. Uh, yeah. You may directly uh, jump to the cross multiplication here. So you get what? Uh, 60 minus 60 no i cap component uh, you get 40 minus 24 or rather plus 24 40 plus 24 so you get what 64 but uh, since j cap is there minus 64 it will be but nonetheless uh, you know let me okay anyway right minus 64 doesn't matter and you get a uh, 50 plus 30 80 plus 80 k cap yeah so uh, you know m vector is uh, you know effectively you may say 0 i cap uh, you have 16 times it goes around so minus 4 j cap 5 k cap makes sense 16 4 16 5 yep so uh, this is a vector parallel to uh, the line of intersection of these two planes P1 and P2 and uh, to find the line I would need a point on the line of intersection also. So uh, here uh, let's say let me put z to be 0 yeah in which case I get 10x plus 15y uh, equal to 60 which essentially means what which essentially means you have uh, 2x plus 3y equal to 12. And uh, uh, here, uh, as you put z to be 0, minus 2x plus 5y equal to 20. So as you solve the 2, uh, you know, add the 2, you get 8y equal to 32. So you get, uh, you know, y equal to 4 and x equal to 0. 
yeah so that means uh, you have a point on uh, you know uh, you have a point on this line of intersection 0 comma 4 comma 0 x is 0 z is 0 y is 2 yeah so you may say this line uh, of intersection to be l yeah so uh, this l is essentially uh, 4 j cap plus lambda times minus 4 uh, j cap plus 5 k cap you can also verify what we have got just to confirm and it's a good practice in exam to verify before uh, rushing ahead yeah so 0 comma 4 comma 0 point indeed satisfies both these planes yeah and uh, 0 i cap minus 4 j cap plus 5 k cap when you take dot product with the normal vectors of these two planes it, it indeed uh, you know uh, the dot products vanish yeah so yes uh, this is the line of intersection we are very sure of it yeah so here uh, 0 comma 4 comma 0 is a point and if i see you know option d 0 4 0 is a point of this line and a parallel vector is what i cap minus 2j cap plus 3k cap yeah so definitely this line is cutting this line of intersection yeah and uh, uh, as you take a dot product of a vector parallel to it that means i cap minus 2j cap plus 3k cap uh, with the uh, the normal vector of plane p1 you get what uh, 10 times 1 is 10 minus 30 plus 36 no it's not uh, uh, 0 it's not 0 yeah similarly uh, you know minus 2 times 1 is minus 2 plus 5 times minus 2 is minus 10 so minus 2 minus 10 minus 12 plus 4 times 3 plus 12 hmm so it's vanishing so that means you can say it is a line which cuts the line of intersection l and it lies in the plane p2 so uh, you know as we had seen uh, so this line can be any of these two uh, green uh, sides yeah uh, which cuts the line of intersection l and lies in the plane uh, you know uh, p2 so uh, that means d can possibly be uh, you know a line representing an edge of some tetrahedron yeah coming to c 0 4 0 hmm, it also cuts the line of intersection l yeah and what about uh, you know the uh, vector parallel to it minus 2 i cap plus 5 j cap plus 4 k cap as you take dot product of this vector with the normal vectors of uh, you know p1 and p2 respectively uh, you get uh, like say with p1 minus 20 plus 75 plus 48 and uh, similarly uh, minus 2 multiply minus 2 is 4 plus 5 multiply 5 25 plus 4 multiply 4 16 so it's not vanishing so that means c can't be my answer why and i'll explain it further uh, so here is a line which uh, you know which cuts or let me write it clear which cuts the line of intersection capital l but uh, you know doesn't lie in any of the planes yeah uh, doesn't lie in p1 or p2 yeah so that means uh, here we have a line uh, you know uh, given in the c option which cuts this line of intersection but it is not lying in any of the planes p1 or p2 and mind you apart from this line of intersection which the c option is not clearly yeah line of intersection has parallel vector minus 4 j cap plus 5 k cap uh, which is not so in the c option so apart from this uh, line of intersection of uh, these two planes there are five more edges two of which cut this line of intersection and lies in plane p1 and the other two of which uh, cuts this line of intersection and lies in plane p2 and the remaining side remaining only side is such that it cuts plane p1 and p2 both it doesn't lie in any of them any of the two planes it doesn't lie in yep and it also doesn't cut the line l so that means if there is a line which cuts this line of intersection L and if it does not lie in any of these two planes P1 or P2 as is the case in this option C can't be the edge of uh, any tetrahedron yeah so C is not the answer coming to uh, B so uh, 6 comma 0 comma 0 
it definitely uh, you know uh, you may say uh, it definitely doesn't cut this line uh, l this line of intersection l how uh, you know first of all you may try making the x coordinate 0 because every point on this line l has x coordinate 0 or you may say i cap component 0 yeah the position vector of any point on this line l has i cap component 0 so you have 6 maybe you can say minus 5 times uh, 6 by 5 you may do yeah uh, and in that case when the x coordinate uh, is 0 you have made it 0 uh, the y coordinate turns out to be what 12 by 5 and 18 by 5 and uh, you know as you uh, consider the lambda here uh, you can't create 0, 12 by 5, 18 by 5. Why? Because to create, uh, you know, the y coordinate, so to speak, to be 12 by 5, uh, you would need, you would need, uh, you know, lambda to be 2 by 5. So that, you know, so you get 12 by 5 uh, component as j, j cap component, yeah. And when you have 2 by 5, the k cap component is 2. That means the z coordinate is 2. So uh, here is a line which doesn't cut line L, yeah. And uh, minus five comma two comma three. Uh, when you take the dot product with the normal vector of plane P two, the dot product doesn't vanish, so it doesn't lie on plane P two. And minus five two comma three. Uh, I mean minus five i cap plus two j cap plus three k cap. When you take dot product here, you get what? Uh, minus fifty plus thirty plus uh, 36 so here again uh, you know the dot product is not vanishing so here is a line which uh, you know uh, doesn't cut l and uh, it uh, neither lies in plane p1 nor lies in plane p2 so it can very well possibly be this uh, red dotted uh, line which cuts these two plane p1 and p2 and doesn't cut the line of intersection l yeah so uh, c can be the answer uh, and uh, what about this uh, a here uh, you know every point on this line has x coordinate 1 and y coordinate 1 for sure yeah so with this you can clearly say that uh, you know uh, this line will never ever cut this line of intersection l because x coordinate is supposed to be zero of every point on this line l yeah and what about uh, it lying in the plane P1 or P2? Let's explore. Uh, 0, 0, 0,5 when taken dot product with, uh, you know, 10, 15, 12, it's, it doesn't vanish. Similarly, with minus 2, 5, 4, it again doesn't vanish. Yeah. So again, uh, this can also possibly be, uh, you know, uh, this red dotted line, which uh, cuts these two planes P1 and P2, uh, but doesn't. Uh, cut the line of intersection yeah so uh, a and b hence uh, can possibly be this red dotted line of course exactly one of them uh, can be that red dotted line but both of them individually can possibly be that red dotted edge uh, as represented in, the, in this diagram for some tetrahedron. Right? yeah so uh, here these two have got selected why uh, that uh, because they uh, neither uh, cut L nor lie in uh, you know uh, P1 or P2 so the answer is supposed to be ABD it's a very fantastic question I hope you under understood thanks for listening